Hello, my name is Corintha Wheaton, and I'm here representing Locker Room Blitz. Today's mission, if you choose to accept it, is to break down and analyze all the social media statistics from our recent social media campaign for brand awareness. In order to break down this data, we used Twitter, Hootsuite, Facebook, Blogger. We initialized the campaign to bring about brand awareness, interest, brand loyalty, to increase followers, and fan engagement. As I mentioned, the name of our brand is called Locker Room Blitz. Locker Room Blitz provides up-to-date sports news and information. We have a friendly, a user-friendly sports platform that provides fans with engaging, customizable sports content in a timely fashion. Locker Room Blitz is committed to providing fans an upscale sports experience. The target market for Locker Room Blitz includes males and females, ages 30 to 55. These are people who are passionate about sports. They generally would attend um, professional sporting events, live game events, However, their, skeptic, their hectic schedules do not usually allow them that time in their schedule to do so. Um, the target market includes first responders, military personnel, um, upper, middle and upper class management. Uh, we're talking professionals, lawyers, doctors, managers, um, people on the higher end of the pay scale. And the target market usually enjoys spending time at live sporting events with family and friends when time permits. The colors and imagery for Locker Room Blitz, primarily we're covering team sports uh, like football, basketball. There is a football and a basketball on the logo to make that clear. Um, there's also um, some other individual events, maybe tennis or track and field, um, something like that. So there's just kind of a generic athlete also in the logo to encompass those things as well. The colors for Locker Room Blitz are blue, white, and orange. Um, we chose those colors because dark blue is said to represent um, knowledge, power, and integrity. Um, Locker Room Blitz will report sports with integrity. We have a large knowledge base of sports, and we like to think that our consumers and fans also are very knowledgeable about sports. So we wanted to incorporate that into our logo, into our brand colors. Um, sports is a very powerful tool. Um, people are very passionate about sports. They are very um, decisive and certain about how they feel about sports. And as we saw recently in um, at the University of Missouri, sports athletes, teams have a lot of power to change the fabric of our life because so much money is spent on sports. So, again, that was why we went with the blue color to represent the knowledge, the power, and integrity of our brand. Orange represents the form, the fun, warmth, and socialization that our brand is bringing to the world of sports. Um, sports by itself is fun. People have a lot of nostalgia centered around sports. It's usually something they do with loved ones, close friends, family members. 
So there's a lot of warm feelings in addition to um, just the competitive nature of sports and socialization. We want our fans to engage with us. We, we want this to be an interactive experience and a social experience. So that was another reason why we used orange. And um, orange also increases oxygen supply to the brain and stimulates mental activity. So again, that just goes into the socialization and interaction aspect. We want people to be fully engaged, but we also want to have stimulative conversation and um, lively uh, debates. And finally, orange is highly accepted by intellectual people who relate to the world in a visual manner. Um, so much of social media is visual and intellectual. So we wanted to bring in a color, incorporate a color in, within our color scheme that spoke to that and that would also um, help boost that. Um, we actually did two campaigns during the time. Um, both of them were brand awareness campaigns. One was just simply kind of titled Hi My Name Is and the theme of that campaign is to introduce Locker Room Blitz to our target market as well as any other um, contemporary sports magazines, sports media channels that um, we could form a relationship with. The other campaign is also a brand awareness campaign um, uh, centered around the NFL as well as the United States military and veterans. Um, November is um, Military Aware Awareness and Appreciation Month. So we tied into a campaign that the NFL is running in conjunction with USAA, which is a military credit union. And um, their hashtag was why we salute. So we tagged into that. And um, during the NFL games where um, that was a part of, during the NFL games that we live tweeted, we used the why we salute hashtag um, when it was appropriate to bring, um, to start the conversation about um, military appreciation, Veterans Day, and um, celebrating and saluting our wonderful military. The campaign audience included our target market as well as contemporary sports brands and media, first responders, and military personnel. The aims and objectives of our campaign was to use social media platforms to interact with fans in an effort to increase brand awareness and loyalty. Our broad objective was to increase followers and traffic to Locker Room Blitz. Our SMART goals. Our SMART goals were number one, to increase followers and likes on Locker Room Blitz social media sites, to increase Twitter followers from five to 50, to increase interactions, tweets, retweets, and favorites on all on site as it's applicable. Our key performance indicators would be the number of followers we had at the beginning of the campaign versus the number of followers we had at the end of the campaign, total engagement before and after the campaign, numbers of retweets, likes, reposts, favorites, um, and for the blog, the number of visitors versus the number of um, visitors after the, the total number of visitors after the campaign. Also, we checked on the number of repeat visitors to see if um, people were coming back after they, they sampled the content and how long they were staying on the blog and, you know, how, how much interaction was going on between um, our followers and um, the brand Locker Room Blitz.
Um, the campaign tools that we use were, of course, the social media sites. We use Facebook, Twitter, and Blogger as our main social media sites. We also use Clout, Google Analytics, Twitter Analytics, um, and Hoot, Hoot Suite to send out um, to send out messages, to post content, and to measure the success of the campaigns. One thing I will say is that um, because we did not meet our goal for um, Twitter followers or Facebook likes, we were unable to use Twitter analytics and we were unable to use Facebook's insight um, to gauge um, how far of a reach we had. So that in itself um, says a lot about our data because we weren't able to reach a, a, um, a number where we could actually measure that. So um, we were, however, able to use clout and clout at the beginning of the month of November. We had a clout score of 10. When we um, started these campaigns, we had a clout score of 14. And at the end of the campaign, we had a clout score of 32. So um, the, the clout score tripled over the course of the month and did a little bit more than double. It doubled almost, it doubled, uh, did a little bit more than double. Um, during the campaign so um, we were able to we did not pick up the flop the amount of followers which we wanted to get 50 followers we did not pick up 50 followers but we were able to pick up some flop followers with a large reach and to get our name out there and some impressions um, when we started the campaign when we just when we started the campaign on November fifteenth, we had um, five followers on Twitter. When we ended the campaign on Thursday, November nineteenth, we had fourteen followers on Twitter. So again, um, with the followers on Twitter, we we nearly tripled the amount of followers we we had in less than a week's time on Facebook. We went from one like, one page like, to six page likes. So um, we did have some increase there, but obviously not enough for any measurable stats. On Blogger, we went from, um, we had 82 views in the course of two weeks. So um, that that is the timetable and the tools that we used. Um, the trends, the interaction was heaviest during um, live tweet events. We live tweeted on um, the Sunday Sunday um, NFL games. We live tweeted Monday Night Football. We also live tweeted um, a Warriors game. Um, they are currently in the midst of a streak. Uh, they are, as of today, they became one of the longest winning teams in history. Um, as I said before, the interaction between the followers did increase across all pl platforms, so that is a positive. The increase did not meet the number set for the campaign, so that's a negative or a fail. Um, We also did not have any repeat visitors, so that would be a failure in my, my mind as well because um, obviously the content was not enough to keep them coming back. back. So that would be something that we need to look at in the future um, so we could have a more successful campaign. The goals for the amp. Uh, the goals or ambition um, for the campaign might have been a little bit too ambitious to go to expect to get 50 likes on Twitter or Facebook in such a short amount of time. 
um, with a brand that no one really knows anything about might have been a bit too ambitious for um, measuring purposes. Um, we had the most success with impromptu or on the spot um, content as and what I mean by that is content that was not um, content that was you know live tweeting content we that was our most success we picked up a lot more followers during live tweet events we had more engagement people were retweeting and favoring and liking our content during live tweeting events and the content that we shared from other platforms like Bleacher Report, Cloud, um, ESPN really didn't drive traffic the way the live original content did during live tweet events. So overall, um, it wasn't, you know, I was Overall, I was disappointed in the campaign because I really thought it would do better. But there are some positive notes and some things to take away from it when I do my next campaign. So this has been the social analytics report for social media analytics report for Locker Room Blitz. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.